Believe it or not, this image was generated from this sketch. This image from this sketch. And this image from this sketch. Well, you got the idea. Control.net has a lot of useful features and in this video I'm going to show you the workflow to give life to any sketch. Let's jump into Automatic 11.11. Let's start with the Jinx sketch and our goal here is to create a realistic shot from it. For that let's use the realistic vision checkpoint. You have the link in the description in case you don't have this model. Regarding the prompt, select one that is appropriated with the image that you want to generate and regarding the negative prompt, you can select a universal one. Sampling method, select the one that you like the most and sampling steps somewhere around 30 or 40. Since we have a face in our sketch, let's check this out and then let's generate a portrait image with a height of 768. Here, let's generate five images to see several results and then open up the control net. In here, you can drag and drop your sketch Make sure that you enable control net and now you can select the scribble. If you don't have this model, you can go to this website. It is in the description and make sure that you download the scribble one. Feel free to download them all. We'll be using a couple of them in this tutorial. Regarding the preprocessor, let's go with the scribble xdoc for now and I will show you why within a minute. Then you can use resize and fill if you have a different size and the remaining parameters can stay the same. Let's generate. And here we have a couple of examples of the image that you can generate from a sketch. It is amazing what Stable Diffusion can do for you from a simple sketch. If you are wondering how it is done, let me show you. This is the output of the Scribble xdoc, which is used to generate the final image. And now I'm going to show you why I told you to use the xdoc. Go to script and select XYZ. In the X type drop down, select the control net preprocessor. And here select all the three preprocessors. If you want to generate different image, select this keep minus one for seeds. But in our case let's use the same seed for all the image. Let's generate. And here we have a couple of examples to compare all the three preprocessors. As you can see, the preprocessors PyDNet and Head aren't so much reliable as the XDoc. Let me show you a closer look. As you can see here, the XDoc is the only one that is really reliable when compared with the sketch. The face in the hair is so much closer when compared with the other ones. And I'm going to explain you why. You can see here the reason. PyDNet and Head doesn't have so much detail in the areas like the hair and face. And for that reason, we are seeing a face and a hair different from the sketch. On the other hand, the Scribble X dog have much more details from the sketch. And that leaves us with a better definition in the end result. And this one is just to compare the threshold from X dog. And you probably won't see too many changes between those values, unless you use the value 1. That one is very extreme. And now let's do something different. This workflow is dedicated to all the fans of League of Legends and Arkane. Of course you don't always have to turn sketches into a realistic image. For this let's use the Arkane Diffusion checkpoint. You have the URL to download this model in the description. For this use case let's use a more suitable prompt. And then let's generate 5 images to see what are the results. And here we go, a couple of examples generated with Arkane checkpoint all generated from the sketch. And regarding Jinx, probably this is the closest one. But this is not all that I have to show you. You can also try other preprocessors and control net models like the Kenny one. Let's also use another sketch from a house. So let's dive into another workflow. Let's change the prompt to be more suitable with this house. Then a generic negative prompt and all the parameters will be the same as the other workflow. In the control net section, select the Kenny model. This model is in the hugging phase from control net. Let's skip the remaining parameters and select resize and fill. Let's press generate. These are the results that you can get. Pretty cool and realistic image from a simple house sketch. All you need is to convert your idea into a prompt. Here are more results with different models. 
as you can see you can get more details with ones or just focus in the silhouette with the others. While doing my research, I found it useful to show you what didn't work so well for this use case. Here you can see that depth meters and normal meters also works well if you don't resize and fill, or with the normal model, that completely failed to generate the house. If you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to learn more stable diffusion techniques. You can replace boring backgrounds with awesome ones, or you can also add text into generated image. Thanks for watching, peace out.